after several attempts I'm going to try and record this again after uh, forgetting to turn the record on the audio, audio to start with I managed to uh, work that one out and then when I just started to uh, I just done the whole video again but I forgot to replace Prana on record the video so I just done all the audio and no video so now last attempt I'm going to try and do the whole lot in one go this image which is um, of uh, Neil Armstrong on the moon Buzz Aldrin taking his picture what brought my attention to this image was the angle of the shadows and the sun or, or the um, the lighting position you know where the uh, where the where the lights coming from if you look on the bottom left hand uh, bottom left hand corner of this image you can see the rocks where the shadows and the light source are coming from so if you take a line from there it goes up something like that and some this little rock here goes up like that which coincides with the lens flares that you see at the top here as well so that being said if you look at the image of Buzz the reflection in the visor you notice his shadow goes off behind him which it shouldn't really because if he's standing in front of uh, Neolia with the same light source if that was the sun 93 million miles away if you think about it it's all coming that direction coming across like that then looking at his mirror image of, of Buzz there he should also have that light direction and his shadow should be going off to his right not off behind him it doesn't make any sense that that uh, shadow of his going off behind it's not that's not right that doesn't look right and I'm, it's definitely not right so let me try and explain that with some um, high-tech imagery <laughs> here at the top we have uh, Neil with his little pot of sample and down the bottom here we have Buzz um, pretend that's the back of him facing Neil and with the light sources what we got off of Neil is coming from this angle so his shadow like the rocks are all coming in at that angle so now a few buzz is only a few feet away from him taking that picture so he too all his uh, light source if the sun was 93 million miles away should all be coming across him exactly the same and his shadow would go off to his right which we see in the um, in the uh, on the image and it does go off to the right but it goes off back to the right where it should be more much more to the right if you know what I mean Let me just take the level down a bit on that. Yeah, that's interesting. If you look at that, I've taken the the the, the levels right down. So, and you look at the light source coming now in on Neil. He's just lit up on that on that one side a little bit. Nothing black over this side. But really, you should. Uh, It shouldn't be lit up as much as that, surely. I would have thought. Yeah, anyway. So, that shadow doesn't make sense when all the shadows are going this way. That doesn't make sense. In fact, it does make sense if you bring in a um, artificial line. I'll show you. let's chuck a light source there where we have it at the moment where we see on Neil's right hand side we know he's been lit up on the right hand side and to the back right, and for Buzz's shadow to go to the right and behind him then his light source 
being that this same light source will give him a different shadow which will produce his shadow to the right hand side and to the back and that's what we see in there it's going to the back and to the right hand side so that light source I would say is pretty close and not the sun see that's the light source that we're seeing in the reflection on the, in the in, in uh, Neil's reflection here that's what we're seeing we're seeing buzz the front of buzz lit up on the front with his shadow going back behind him to the right and that's what you're seeing there buzz being lit up on the front with a shadow behind him to the right and that will give you a local light source again if the sun was 93 million miles away then it would all be the same direction the shadow would go a lot further to the right but we don't see that you've only got to look at these shadows here these ones here and the ang angle angles of them shadows compared to the shadow in the helmet that's totally wrong yeah, what's that right and uh, let me just uh, prove to you that I believe that this light source here is artificial it's a man-made light source it's not the Sun not uh, not 93 million miles away apart from these shadows being all wrong compared to everywhere else let me show you let me show you first this one here is a lens flare from a spotlight what are we doing this is a lens flare from a spotlight I found this on Google if you search Google a spotlight lens flare you'll come across this one The shape of this lens flare, you could almost say that that's a, 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 I don't know, the bowl of a spotlight with the light source replicating the light source in the middle there. This, this, you know, looks quite, looks like there's a couple of lights, you know, like a couple of lights in that, that uh, actual spotlight. So you've got a, a bright area here and a bright area here. With a, with a pretty dull bit in the middle so let's check that and that looks like maybe two two bright bulbs in a spotlight let's turn it down yeah I'd say maybe that's either a, a, a big square floodlight or, or, or a spotlight with maybe two couple of bulbs in it giving that effect oh maybe maybe it's got I don't know maybe it has three but that's interesting that is a spotlight lens flare search on Google you'll find that spotlight lens flare which is quite similar to this one in fact, this is a clearer image of of probably what that is, and again on this one here, on this one here, you can see again it's got a a, a light area there and a light area there. It's more defined in this one, so you've got like two um, areas of light, possibly two bulbs, and this image actually comes from a moon picture 
and that's what I was saying about the um, the, the the photograph with the odd shadows having a artificial light which is quite close and being a spotlight or a floodlight and to me looking at these uh, lens flares I would say they are either spotlight or floodlight lens flares because they're not uh, they don't look like sunlight lens flares show you what a sunlight lens flare looks like this is a sunlight lens flare they're round oops so yeah Yeah, where's that gone? And that's your the camera aperture. And that's your uh, uh, sunlight lens flare, which is round. It's not... It's not uh, the shape of a spotlight. Now, I do... Uh, would like you to go onto Google and search for spotlight lens flare and sunlight lens flare and and you can see the difference you'll have trouble finding them because most of uh, lens flares are all from programs that are automatically created you know like for, for plugins for Photoshop on, uh, and other programs but um, definitely have a look online for the different uh, flares that su the, the sunlight give you and which uh, spotlights give you because that and that to me are the same are produced by the same artificial lighting wouldn't you agree Definitely a spotlight lens flare found on, on Google, searching spotlight lens flare. And Nessa's, Nessa's spotlight lens flare, which they used on the Moon movie set. Yeah, what else did I have? What else did I have before I, uh, before I disappear? Yeah. Not him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've just while I was uh, browsing around, I just happened to find this one. I think I'm not sure if somebody's already done this. But I think they have, but they uh, if you just turn up the brightness of that NASA image, yeah, you get a nice pasted on Earth in the space scene. And what I thought was funny is um, I, what else I found on it here. <laughs> Space Invader. <laughs> it probably uh, wasn't supposed to be like that, but who knows. But that definitely, uh, that is definitely pasted on. It's just f fake as anything. More CGI rubbish. Yes. Yeah, what else I've got on one I'd done earlier? This one. This is another one of Nessa's photographs that you can find in their website of the uh, the Earth and the Moon. And again with that, messed around with the settings and come across this, which you know you can clearly see there's a box where that's been pasted in, because that's not normal. And the same of the, uh, yeah. and the same of the earth, the earth there. Look. I pasted in half an earth, and it's just got this black outline around it. So it's all, it's all fake rubbish. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. Actually, they uh, let's get rid of that. They said on the um, on the um, site that this is Neil Armstrong and that's Buzz taking a picture, but I'm, I'm I think it's the other way around because you know if, if anyone knows Buzz Aldrin, they know that he's 
Um, he likes his watches, doesn't he? No matter where he goes, he has two watches on his on his one in either wrist or. And I noticed that about this this moon photo here. You can't get away with it, can you? You can't not know what the time is on the moon. Not the uh, not that you can just ask somebody at mission control. Well, you know what's the time? What time is it? Why on earth would you want a watch on the moon? That's just crazy. Anyway, shadows, shadows are completely wrong. Artificial lighting, definitely artificial lighting. Look at that. That's a spotlight. Complete rubbish. Believe it if you want, but but this just rubbish. Nessa is just a hoax. A hoax moon landing. Billions of dollars funding. Movie set somewhere which has probably cost maybe a couple of million out of them. Out of that 19 billion they take out of you each each year now. 19 billion and you just get some composite fake images who wear watches in space. Oh, look, it's, uh, you can't forget, can't forget what you got to do during the day as well. Look, a little uh, memo there. Hold up pot of sample. Have picture taken of Buzz or Neil. Turn off lights when finished. <laughs> right, I've got to go. I've got to go. Thanks for watching anyway. I'll catch you on the flip side. Be safe, have fun. Like and subscribe. Or if you don't like it, don't like it. Click on don't like it. It's no bother to me, really. Leave your comments what you think about the shadows. Photographers know the truth. I'll right, see you later. Bye-bye.